I've done music most of my life. I started playing when I was about six years old. I've dealt with the demon of performance anxiety and I wanted to make sure that someone else didn't have to go through the same thing that I had to go through. As things kept happening, I kept getting more and more nervous as I started taking auditions. And there was a lot of buildup for any audition or any performance. Because there was such high expectation that I put upon myself, by the time I got to the audition, I was already ex extreme level of like energy. I got it to an audition for a National Symphony once, and as soon as I got on stage, right when I started playing, my heart rate shot through the roof. I started shaking, I could barely breathe, and it was just a crash and burn situation. And at that point, it's like, I can't continue to do this if this is what's gonna happen. Either I have to quit music completely, or am I going to be able to do something about this? That ended up starting a process to truly figure out what is going on in my mind. That process started with working through with counselors. I ended up, interestingly enough, working with a sports mental coach. Musicians and high-level athletes are dealing with the same thing. We're dealing with the same level of anxiety. You know, that you know, an idea of perfection, an idea of you know, trying to achieve the highest they can, yet having all these obstacles that can possibly prevent that. And I would visualize myself doing that several times, walking out onto that hall. If I'm going somewhere that I've never been before, I have an anxiety of, oh no, where I'm gonna park? Am I gonna have an adequate place to warm up? What's the hall gonna be like? I got a map of the area, you know, I did Google Street View so I could see where the parking garage was, where the hall is, where I'd have to walk to get there. I got pictures of what the inside of the hall looked like. And what was really interesting is when I actually went and took the audition, I, I walked out onto that stage and it was as if I'd actually been there because I looked around, I was like, oh, this is familiar, which then lowers the anxiety and, and that fear factor just wasn't there. If I went and took an audition, and I failed at it or I messed something up. Instead of just beating myself up afterwards, I started asking the question, okay, what can I learn from this? I'm learning to write down my fears beforehand, learning what cognitive distortions were, um, understanding breathing exercises. And so just little things here just gradually started building one upon another. It's, I mean, it's been a 10 year process really, kind of working through things. <laughs> There's a night and day difference, really. I hated playing in front of other people. I really didn't even enjoy playing in front of my family. Whereas now, I really feel like I've completely changed my viewpoint on a lot of things. And going through this process of understanding anxiety and learning to manage and overcome it for me, I've learned to fall back in love with music again.